Oh, hey. No. <laughs> we got to start everything over again. The damn jail noise came up. It ruined everything. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. It's the pro wrestling potluck. It's Thursday night potluck night on planet Earth. I am potluck's host, Scotland Green. Tremendous show. I was watching, I was watching the opening, just like, <laughs> and every name that came up, I said, oh yeah, oh, oh, ah, it's going to be a great one. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Uh, get in the chat. If you're watching for the first time, I would strongly suggest you get in that damn chat. It's funny. It's informative. It's sports edutainment. If I, uh, if I wasn't, uh, uh, hosting, I would be in the chat, cracking wise, but instead I'm hosting. Bamdog41, first timer, yeah, welcome, welcome, thanks for checking out the show, I promise a good one, I promise a good one. That's the, the potluck guarantee, a good show. Uh, also, uh, VH quality, VHS quality, uh, will be coming. Uh, we got so much to do, let's see, anything... Before we, I want to know what everyone is drinking because I am drinking this. This leftover from last week's voting. Mountain Dew Baja Point Break Punch, a favorite of Keanu. Uh, I've been I've been looking forward to drinking this all week, which I know is sad. Move over uh, for sale, baby shoes never worn. There's a new sad six-word sentence, and it's... Uh, uh, looking forward to do all week and that's me baby i've been looking forward to do and uh let's do the do with uh my partner in crime the largest frozen mug in the world here it is got some ice in there and you know what why not i got some complaints people missed this last week and so it's back it's potluck asmr for all the weirdos let's do it All right, there you go. And, ooh, this smells good. Point Break Punch. This is for you, Keanu. Ooh, damn. Wow. This is a good one. This is a good one. I'm a Mountain Dew freak. I'm turning into a Mountain Dew freak. I never thought I'd be this way. Uh, all right. So that's that. Check ASMR. Check Mountain Dew. Check All right, people drinking some good stuff. Look at this. Capo Chico Lime from Bam Dog. A Gold Rush from Andrew Heelan. Celsius Cosmic Vibe Fruit Punch from Nathan. Pure Leaf Unsweetened Iced Tea. Polar Brand Ginger Lime Mule Flavored Seltzer Ooh, from Brian. Uh, cool Dude Food, 14 year single malt. Uh, there you go. Wow. Sip of the dew for Keanu. Liquid death. Suzanne. Well, let's get right to it. Enough drinking. We can drink all night. And I will be. Um, and I gotta tell you the truth, gang. I've already had a Mountain Dew. Mere hours ago. Maybe an hour ago with my, with my Taco Bell dinner. My healthy Taco Bell dinner. So I'm on a to-do night. It's going to be wild. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls. I'll be running in that wheel like Sabrina, my uh, kitten and producer on the show. She's telling me to get on with it. So let's get on with it. And this is how we start tonight's show. We start it like this. In the future, everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Longer into the buzz. All right, we go to Noah. We go to Pro Wrestling Noah. We go to Monday Magic. Just mere days ago. 
Here he is, the world's largest junior heavyweight, Alpha Wolf. We usually see him in a tag team uh, situation. <clears throat> Not tonight, Jack. He's in a singles match. I always hear neat stuff about Monday Magic. Seems like pro wrestling Noah is, is really rad. And please, people watching live, let me know how the levels are. Am I a little louder than the action? That's all I need. Um, Sounds good. Thank you, Nathan. And he is facing the hardcore champion, Ninja Mac. We love Ninja Mac over here in Potluck City, Hearts Unknown Queens. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Thank you for cheering, Dave in Syracuse. I'm excited about this one. This was Monday Magic's main event, but guess what? It's Pro Wrestling Potluck's opener, baby. We're going on an adventure tonight. I think people are going to start talking about Ninja Mac a little more when he shows up in, uh, the, he's in the Super J Cup, or the, whatever, the, the, the tournament that, uh, the junior tournament that New Japan's doing. He's a crossover from uh, Noah. Flipping kick from Ninja Mac. Oh my god. ATL Blood Feast. Yes. Elliot, congratulations on the baby. That is rad. Hell yeah. Babies love potluck. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> Good to see ya. ATL Blood Feast. Alpha will stomping away at Ninja Mac. Best of the Super Juniors, that's what it was. Not Jake Pat, my bad. Sabrina's running wild. Ooh, big chop. Sends Ninja Mac down. I've said this before, but there was a brief period where Ninja Mac was choosing to wrestle without a mask, and the world was like, nah, let's get that mask back on, homie. <laughs> Hey, we don't know who's under the mask. Ooh, face first into the chair. The world said, uh, maskless Ninja Mac, it was a thing, I'm telling you. Mm, point break punch is, is lovely. Not quite as good as the Major Melon, my favorite so far. But boy, oh boy. Ninja Mac with a chair uh, stuck in his crotch, I guess. Ooh. One chair hits another chair, which hits him right in the beans. There will be no Baby Max. Ninja Mac, not a lot of people know this, Ninja Mac related to uh, Craig Mac in, in my dreams. The Yam Bag region. Thank you, Suzanimal. Right in the little man. <laughs> Dave. 
Max did blood sport without the mask. Ah. This is for the hardcore championship. Not that Tom Green in the house. This is uh, for uh, Noah's uh, hardcore belt, which Ninja Mac is its champion. I think Mac the Knife. Is Mac the Knife, uh, Ninja Mac the Knife? Uh-oh, I gotta write that down. I'd rather have more possible titles than less. And Ninja Mac the Knife, it's going in. Show titles, write them down. Thank you, Dave. I always forget. There was a few weeks in a row where I was just like, oh, no, all I have are, uh, you know, like, I think last week was, like, drinking piss. <laughs> it was, like, five different drink piss ones. <laughs> so, Alpha Wolf has... I think Alpha Wolf's mask has earrings. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's a good question, Nathan. I don't know of any Ooh. hardcore belts besides this one. Ooh. Alpha Wolf flying! Big guy! Big guy! The world's biggest cruiser! Ooh. Oh! Parallel thought! Alpha Wolf gets the best. Ooh, I spoke too soon. Rolls to the outside. Why would you roll the outside with Ninja Mac? He's got you in the crosshairs now. He's gonna flip right in your damn face. Holy shit, Ninja Mac. Hitting the bystander. Ninja Mac rules. It's, 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 I agree with the chat. It is almost time for Ninja Mac to explode. He does Texas Indies, GCW, Noah, but there needs to be some more Ninja Mac. He was in Japan, I think he's triple A in it. Ooh. Right in the buzz bin. We got some buzz tonight, folks. Ninja Mac got that table set up. Black. A black table. A black Japanese table. Setting it up out in the crowd. Mac is planning something. Is it his own demise? Right in the buzz bin is a good one. There will be at least two Buzzbin matches tonight, maybe even three, my friends. Alpha Wolf asleep on the table, Ninja Mac with the Singapore cane on the top. Oh, <laughs> come on, dog. Ooh, can they stick to the back? <laughs> Not that Tom Green says black Japanese table sounds like a weed strain. Cold Dude Food says Alpha Wolf and Ninja Mac are both good weed strain names as well. Two. Which reminds me. Wrestler versus Weed Strain, one year old. It's, it was uh, April 20th, Thursday, April 20th, the 420 special, that uh, the world was changed forever with Wrestler Weed Strain, a, a uh, game that I have done eight variations of. Choked with a chair. Alpha Wolf with a crazy mask. Ninja Mac doing what it takes. 
Feet on the ropes, does that matter in a hardcore match? Apparently so. Apparently so. Excellent versus weed strain. That's uh that sounds like uh, uh intermission at a GCW show. Now this is a good time to tell you Tuesday nights you check out not that Tom Green on Twitch WCW Deep, Deep Cuts. I was in the chat this Thursday. It was a damn blast. Every Tuesday night. Oh, check out Tom's WCW Deep Cuts C and D shows. He's funny. He's got the information. This I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy hosting. I do my best, but but Tom actually knows stuff. It's a it, I get informed. On this, I gotta ask the chat everything. Oh, oh mid air hit with the garbage can. I think my favorite wrestler weed story is uh, the uh, the Iron Sheik and uh, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan when they're feuding, they get busted smoking weed together in the car. I love that so much. That was an excellent spot. Holy shit! How do you just get ready for that? All right, I'm gonna do a, a Sasuke special and know that I'm gonna eat shit. And not only am I gonna eat shit, I'm gonna get hit with a, a trash can. Moon salting like it's nothing. The great big alpha wolf. Crush bra, I don't think I'm familiar with Jim Duggan stealing Paul London's weed. That sounds great. I, uh, I, I hung out with Paul London after an LPW show a month or two ago, and he's a very nice guy and had lots of great stories. I want to have him on the show. Shit. Maybe he tells some stories. Forearm to the chest. Big chop to the chest. Ninja Mac cannot compete with these... Blows from Alpha Wolf, the much bigger cruiserweight. I have, I, I don't know if Paul London is a TNA. Uh, didn't come up. Ooh. Ninja Mac trying again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! Oh. Alpha Wolf is watching tape on Ninja Mac. He was ready for that. Oh my god, overhead belly to belly. Ninja Mac lands hard on the apron, the hardest part of the canvas. My god. Ooh, baby. This is just our first match, folks. え、ちょっと用の雰囲気ですね、新宿フェス。そしてこのスタンディングで見るという風景も、このプロレス界ではなかなか珍しいですよね。アメリカは見たいがね。GCWみたいな。GCWアリーナみたいなね。いや、伝
and there's nothing to uh, climb for. It's just a weapon. Brian, you're not getting good connection. God damn it. Another table. リング上ラダーもリングインさせられていますまたいつもこうした武器が潜っていますリングフェイスこれでTLC完成ですねリングマック laying the boots in has planned for the second black Japanese table starting his own clap sometimes you gotta do it sometimes you gotta start your own clap you gotta take that lesson into your life. It's okay to start your own clap. This is oh Jesus! Lands on his feet from the German, watches the table right by Move, dog! Oh. Hip toss! Alpha Wolf, the world's largest cruiserweight, breaks that table without any trouble. Ninja Mac got that clap. Ninja Mac says, please clap. Remember that? Ninja Mac for president. That's what I say. Uh-oh. Setting him up on the ladder. Break that. Oh! Going for the cover. Two. Alpha Wolf kicks out. Ninja Mac leaning the ladder in the corner. Oh, God! Ouch! Hurt his ankle on that one. Gets caught by Alpha Wolf. Oh! Denting the ladder! Ninja Mac is in deep trouble. Alpha Wolf trying for a pin. New champ! Nope! Ninja Mac manages to get a shoulder up. I don't know why you would climb. There's no reason to climb that ladder. No reason. Oh God, takes the chair right in the tailbone. Two men on this wonky ladder. Referee says, hey dog, there's no reason to be on the ladder. Oh no, Ninja Mac, Sunset Flip Powerbomb time. Perhaps Alpha Wolf read the memo, says nah. Oh my God, oh, oh no. Suplex. Ninja Mac looks hurt. If we could see his face, it would be twisted in pain, no doubt. Now this isn't fair. Using his ninja sash to tie his hands behind his back, I hate it. I hate when people's hands are tied behind their back. But I guess that's the point. Ninja Mac. Not looking so hot. Trying to roll out so he could possibly get on his feet. He's got some time because Alpha Wolf's hunting now. Hunting for a new weapon. Trash can lid. Classic. Oh. Trash can lid, I think the uh, uh, Double Dragon boys were using that. Chair to the back. Oh. Uh, chair to the head. This is punishing. This is the, the passion of Ninja Mac. Oh. 
chair to the back. Ninja Max is trying to get away. Alpha Wolf, is he using the same chair over and over or different chairs? I don't know, but Ninja Max is being pummeled as he wanders in front of fans. Uh-oh. They're on the stage. Max fighting back with them. Oh. He gets crowned. Passion and Ninja Mac from writing it down. I will be a champion, Cameron. Ninja Mac is in trouble. Getting ready. Mac ducks. Ooh. Drop kicks, but Mac needs to get back up. He landed on those arms. Each time he lands is not fun. Oh no! Ooh. Ninja Mac! Break it! Break it, baby! He's free! Ninja Mac has been freed! Oh my god! 6.30! Wow! I thought, I straight up thought Ninja Mac was losing it. Well, 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 that was rad as hell. All right, here we go. I've been looking forward to this all week. This was sent in by Dr. Liam. Uh, Crimson Mask Replica on Instagram. A m the best follow you'll ever have if you're on Instagram. Go follow him. He, he posts great stuff all day, every day. And uh, sometimes I find myself going back and, and looking at his posts. Very informative, covering all of wrestling. Crimson Mask Replica. Dr. Liam sent this in. You can send stuff in, too. I'm always taking submissions. Hit me up on Instagram, Mr. Green Mist, or Pro Wrestling Potluck at Gmail. Now, Passions, a show I remember from my youth. This is from 2002. Passions had a wrestling episode. Holy cats, man. Let's check it out. All right. Here's a ring announcer that I dress better than. Yeah, they don't care about using the Gary Glitter, I guess. We should probably be Frito twisting this, but we'd miss the lines. What cruel fate. To think that I, Julian Crane, have descended to entertaining the masses by engaging in professional wrestling. <laughs> With Big Dog, no less, who may or may not be loosely related to the fair sex. Do I should be proud to be part of such an exciting sport? Well, of course you think it's exciting. I don't the know. One is about to be killed. I think he's a doll boy. The doll boy. Passions aired during the day. It's a soap opera. It's a uh, uh, a weird magical soap opera. That is a doll boy dressed like Don King. Is that the best name you would come up with? I can't understand a word that child is saying. The Gary Glitter's too loud. The robber baron of the new millennium. The boss employees love to hate. The mask. C E O. C E O. C E O. He's got the piped in C E O chants.
the mass CEO. They're blowing him, yeah, dog. Get his ass. They're doing cheerleader uh, <laughs> chants at him. UGLY, <laughs> you ain't got no alibi. The mass CEO, let him have it. The dogs look huge in the dressing room. Who's a small face? This dog won't look tiny out here. And now, the reigning champion of wrestling! The reigning champion of wrestling. Who let the dogs out? Oh, Big Dog is a lady? <laughs> so, Ivy, my plan worked perfectly. Teresa believed the fake tape I made of Ethan shooting Julian, so she confessed to the murder to save Ethan, and now she's going to die by lethal injection. <sighs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is one of those TV shows where wrestling is real. Sickos are celebrating the fact that Mrs. Crane is going to be executed? Indeed, we are. You backed the wrong Mrs. Crane. Teresa will never set foot in this house again. <laughs> yes, as we speak, the little taco queen is walking the green mile to extinction. Teresa's going to die, and there's nothing anyone can do to save her. All right. <clears throat> It's time for a, a brand new segment on this show. Um, today, April 18th, and uh, how sweet it is. Happy birthday to the Brooklyn Brawler, 63 years old today. Uh, you know, he's he still likes to uh, hang out in Brooklyn and go to bodegas and, and all that jazz. Uh, Brooklyn Brawler, 60 through, 63 years old. How sweet it is. And now, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's watch some Brooklyn Brawler. <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know the name. It sounds good, buddy. I heard about some Tenru. Oh, All right, here's Tenru. Royal Rumble, yeah. Royal Rumble, yeah. This uh, is not in English. Tenru versus the Brooklyn Brawler. This is Tenru's appearance on the potluck this week, folks. That's a good question. The Tenru, yeah. Tenru had like three matches in WWF. We. <laughs> this is French. I forgot who sent this in long ago. Dr. Liam sent this to me. I think Andrew Healy might have sent this to me as well, or Suzanimal. I think a couple people might have sent this. And I had it saved for just such a time. Oh. 
Men än så länge har han faktiskt inte visat en enda grej som... Nej, det har ju varit han rycker bort bögarna, men å andra sidan, Brooklyn Brawler vill ju inte köras. Men han är bra. Han I saw one of Brooklyn Brawlers last matches uh, at the... Jag tycker det var lite långt. The Barclays Center. He's wearing a damn Nets jersey. Tender going to work on the arm of the Brooklyn Brawler. <laughs> no idea why this match happened. But han var ju också någon som har varit lite halvhyfsad i något annat förbund. Ja, det har han varit. Men han har varit... Uh... Han har varit länge i VVF. Tenru is in a rumble. There's a... Um... I have another Tenru clip where it's like the WWF talk show thing and he's there and I think they're racist. I think that's why we haven't watched it on the program. Men det som Bruna har sagt förut var lo en bra eller något sån här kvalificerad loser här. Det är klart mer pengar än att vara en topp. Biting! Brooklyn Brawler. Biting. Tell, ta telling stories about the old days with the Seltzer man. Coming to town. Yeah, this French commentary team, they are smoking cigarettes while they're they're smoking cigarettes and drinking wine. Yeah, AW Dark is gonna be a gold mine in five years, I say. I miss Dark. I would trade in. Ooh, power bomb, folding them up. Good night, brawler. Henry wins. Doesn't care. It's already on his way to the back. He says, "Fuck this." Back to passions. She treated this staff with respect, not like fetching dogs. Oh, speaking of fetching, where's our champagne? If we'd like it now. Oh, and in the future, if you would keep your emotional outbursts to yourself, that is, if you want to keep this job. Be nice to the staff, treat them with respect. What kind of new age nonsense is that? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We have to find out if a date has been set for Teresa. These are not nice people. I'll turn on the TV. See, there's been an announcement. Yeah, come on! This is yeah. a cheesy wrestling show. Oh, wrestling. Oh, my, I love wrestling. <laughs> There's always, I gotta pause it and say this, whenever there's something where where the, the one person hates wrestling, the other person, the other woman is like sexually into wrestling. This has happened on multiple things like this that we've watched. What for, the fashion tips? No, for the sweaty, chiseled men in spandex. My favorite one's the stallion. One oh, of these wrestlers is Evan Courageous, says IMDB. Uh, Evan Courageous is in this show. Yeah! I think stallion that's him. And big dog. We're gonna take this man down. He's apparently yeah. in this episode. Mm -hmm. 2002, I don't know what he looked like. I can only picture him with braids. You know, I thought at least the local stations would be reporting on Teresa's impending execution live from prison. Don't you know how TV works, on, lady? <sighs> oh, Mr. Stallion, I bet you'd like little Becky to pull on your tail, wouldn't you? <laughs> Rebecca! What? Stay with me here, please. Teresa's execution, you don't think that, that Ethan managed to pull some last-minute legal maneuver, She's too you? horny to be <laughs> evil. Teresa's conviction is solid. And that's going to be a title, I mean, Too oh, Horny to Be Evil. It would be if Julian were alive, and that's not going to happen. But no one could survive being shot, boiled, and shredded in a tuna vat. No, Julian Shot, is boiled, dead. and shredded in a tuna vat. i got to watch more passions. <laughs> All right, back to the mass CEO. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Let her have him. I want this woman to kill the mass CEO. I don't think we need to let her go as badly enough for me to be mauled by the maniac. All you mean have to do is fight big dogs for 15 minutes to win the money. $200 will begin to pay for my hospital bills. This is truly bizarre. Maybe so. Evan Courageous is listed as wrestler in the, the thing, so I have no idea. He probably uh, does his own IMDB, so. I mean a big dog, no illegal moves. Management's getting complaints from morticians. They can't make the body presentable for viewing after Brian, you killed me! Pretty sure that's Evan Courageous in the Don King wig. Referee Vinny Lax. This is uh, Passions, NBC's uh, mystical soap opera, and this is their wrestling episode. With the masked CEO and the little boy who is a doll who is dressed like Don King. And I think you're caught up. The official official of Pro Wrestling Potluck, referee Vinny Lax. All right. I guess I, I can talk Obama. over this. Um, so this is our next match. This is from DDT. This is uh, Sakura Hirota versus Antonio Honda. And uh, Sakura Hirota right here is explaining that she could not get a babysitter for, for tonight. So she's going to just bring these children into the ring, her twins. Her children are going to be in the ring for this match. This is going to be wild. Sakura Hirota, we have watched her before. She uh, she wrestled a match in the 90s where she was dressed as Bull Nakano. She was a fake Bull Nakano for comedy's sake. One of the best comedy wrestlers. <laughs> Where's my Don King wig? I'm about to put a Don King wig on uh, Sabrina. I've said this before, but it's these moments that I wish I spoke Japanese, because I bet she's hilarious right here. Ref getting manhandled by the child with the cool pants. That blood sport show looks nuts. <laughs> Here we go! The match is on! <laughs> Vinny Lax would have done a DQ already. Those kids would be headed home with a Ziploc full of goldfish crackers. They tie up. Honda working on the arm of Sakura. <laughs> Reversal. Trying to trying to impress her children. <laughs> this is definitely an angle that the winner of the gimmick gauntlet, the divorced dad who just wants to impress his kids, would definitely steal this. 
Thank you, and you're healing. You just you just said it at the same time. Is this the divorced mom gimmick? I think so. <laughs> What a gimmick. Ooh, chop to the chest and Taroka down and children are confused. Oh my god. This is insane. That kid's got so much energy, he's not gassed. <laughs> Antonio Honda just has to <laughs> watch this happen. <laughs> Slow motion. Oh. The big wind up. <laughs> Stand off and the respectful fans clap. Referee, I blame the ref for that. <laughs> Sakura gets out of the headbutt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kids are getting <laughs> caught up. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Single leg crab. She's calling out to her children for help. Single mom crab, not that Tom Green. You did it again. Single mom crab. Going on the list. <laughs> Vinny Lax with another DQ. Here's a, a, a word of warning to all wrestlers out there. If you're going to bring your children into a match, you better make sure that Vinny Lax is not the referee. He won't stand for that. <laughs> Punches. Kick to the gut. Hirota now, the right. Oh, she gets stopped. <laughs> oh. Single mom crab. <laughs> Single mom crab might be the title. That's gonna get some clicks. 
<laughs> Sakura Hirota on the top. That control of Honda's arm. She's going old, old school. Whoa! Look at that. That's some Fenix. She's like damn Fenix. Preschool, goddamn. Brian. Oh no, crotched. The referee has both kids now. They're gassed. They're out of. They're out of gas. <laughs> Pulling the strap down. Oh no. <laughs> Lessons being learned. <laughs> Whoa! Honda gets caught! Two! Count only. This has got to be the most understanding referee. Another leap. <laughs> oh, oh, he gets the boot up. How did he have time? We need Chris Charlton. They're dead. They're dead. I, 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 I hate to say this, but their dad has to be dead. <laughs> right? In the, media, in the ring? それだけ聞いてもらってそのまま終わったらもうキープアップするんで聞いてもらっていいですか。その作文昔話今月ね。俺の名前は今月ね。今日は昨日ちゃんとめぐちゃんに夏で暑いからじゃあアイスクリームで
おじさんが共生したわけじゃなくて驚くことにお母さんの相手だからね<笑>あのね、The family that pins together wins together. Oh my god. Cool dude food. Thank you so much.、Uh, sometimes the easiest rhymes are the, the hardest to catch. <laughs> All right. Congratulations to the happy family. Back to passions. <laughs> What am I writing down? What a wild match we have going on here. What am I. What, what, tell me again what I should write down. The family that pins together wins together. They're playing the Star Trek fight music. Come on, get up, girly boy. Yeah, it is Star Trek music. This is wrestling. This is a freak show. Who you call it a freak? Oh, certainly not you, Big Talk. No, Evan. Big Talk. I think that's Evan. Er, Evan. Er, uh, 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 courageous on the outside wearing the sleeping cap. These are the girls you wouldn't take home to mother. But if you did, Mom all right, this was sent in by、uh, YouTube viewer Henry. The producer who created the gorgeous ladies of wrestling did so because he thought most women wrestlers were too old and out of shape to fit the image of the 80s. So、Yikes. almost all of his ladies are judged on looks as well as ability to battle, especially the good girls who play it by the book with a smile to boot. And there are the bad girls who will do anything to win, like the jungle woman. After swinging from trees, jumping off the top rope is nothing to her. And the Royal Hawaiian, who vows to win the title in a match with the lollipop carrying Tammy Jones. No doubt the most hated of these wrestlers will be the tag team of Chainsaw and Spike. Looks pretty real to me, buddy! <laughs> I cook them! And we eat them! Yes! I love them! After spending about an hour with these girls, I couldn't help but ask the 350 pound Mount Fiji. If we were supposed to think that what they were doing in the ring was real. Oh,、are、come you on, you geek. Yeah, I'm, I'm doubting. I don't, you, you don't really want people. Hurt him! <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. We gave him a second warm half Welsh of the show. Welcome. What does everybody want? What does everybody need? What does everybody love? Him. All right, I'm we、back. gave him a warm Welsh welcome. Mind you, we had to open both patio doors to get him in the house. All yours. To be honest, I'd never met a WWE superstar before. Didn't know what to expect. All right, then. Should I keep? And if you was willing to muck in, well, he was most welcome. Come on, lad. Those sheep won't shear themselves. Dere, gloy. No. The other thing about shearing a sheep、oh. is to hold the little <laughs> buggers down. Damien Priest, the、uh, right? bisexual、oh, undertaker. Were you still when they sheared you?、Eh? He worked hard on the farm.
So I made him a nice, traditional Welsh treat. So, you throw men around for a living, then, do you? Ah, uh, do you know what? I love WWE. What's your favorite thing about it? The double knee face breaker. Now, you need a few more currents. Yeah, that's splendid. Eh? Fair dues, I thought there'd be a bit of a culture clash. Yeah. Marvellous. Just another 50 to go. These are really, really nice. <laughs> he's looking at the camera like him. he's uh, hey, in the office. With his he's Jim. He's pulling a gem. He's a whiz in a brewery. We're so delighted with him. We've named one of the uh, one of the tanks after him. His Welsh cakes weren't the best, but he did try. Mm. Sure, he's a bit different. <laughs> but Damien learned pretty quick, mate. <laughs> sheep oh, reaction is, shot. If this WWE a sheep thing reaction work shot. Out, he has always got a job with us. There you go. That's why they did it. So are you sad because Teresa's going to die? Now back to passions. Or because you're about to lose your free dental and 401k plan when she does. <sighs> That is so cold. Just like our champagne. You can go now. Passions <laughs> is crazy. No, 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 no. Go back to the stallion. I'm feeling my oats. <sighs> Rebecca, please. Stop acting like a mare in heat and stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> a no, mare in heat. I gotta write that misery. down. But she will be. You know, I wonder what I have to do to get into the stallion's corral. <laughs> Damn it, Rebecca! Stop. Too horny to be evil. How many times have we seen her down for the count, only to have her wriggle away at the last minute? Ivy. Oh, hot mare <laughs> like a mare like a horse. I thought it was hot mare like uh, is honor. <laughs> <laughs> is not going to be executed would be if Julian were to come back to life and that only happens on TV. Big dog misses the mass CEO in the corner now. You know, you got to hand it to Big Dog. I mean, oh, I'm thinking it's the number car. 2. Too yeah, horny to be yeah. evil. Marin Heat will be will bring the weirdos that I don't want to tangle with. There's something familiar about Big Dog's opponent. They don't recognize the mask CEO because he's wearing a mask. Holy shit. That little jelly belly. What does he remind me of? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. There's something familiar about the wrestler's opponent. You're right, there is. <laughs> oh, the big dog knocks out her dog walker. Mass CEO crawls to the corner, cowardly criminal. No, it couldn't be. Could it? These two idiots. <laughs> Referee Vinny Lax says, where's the five count? We need you in there. Come on. All right, here we go. Love, Let's pause this. <laughs> Folks. Folks. It's honey counter time yet again. Uh, the, 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 the fan favorite. If you're new to the program. We have watched promos from Christopher Love, Christopher Honey Love, who says honey a lot. First time we saw him, he said honey 18 times. Then he said it once. Then he said it 50. I don't know. But you never know how many times he's going to say it. And because of that, the uh, folks at Potluck Labs have devised the honey counter. And uh, uh, what that means is, every time he says honey, I will count it. I will uh, put the proper thing in. Let me get my notes so I know what to type in. All right. 
And uh, so I'm asking the chat right now. You guess. Let me tell you how how long this segment is, so everybody gets a uh, gets a fair shot. This is a three minute and forty eight second segment. How many times does Christopher Love say "honey"? Now is the time. Cindy says, "I bop." Welcome back. Yes, now is the time. Everybody gets one guess. Dave in Syracuse says 12. ATL Bloodfeast also says 12. Uh, referee Vinny Lack says 7. Brian says 6. Dr. Liam says 8. Nathan says 13. Uh, cool Dude Food said 4. I think that's it. Suzanimal says 17. Now I'm going to get ready. All right. All right, everybody get your bets in. If you're watching and not chatting, get in the chat immediately. Cindy says I bop, says 11. All right. I think I'm starting it, folks. Three minutes and 48 seconds. How many times does Christopher Honey Love say honey in this segment? Let's go. Christopher Love back here. Come on, nothing! Now, this fat pig Ronnie Gossip wants to come out here and say he's the scum of the earth, honey. He wishes he was that good. This man, I knew he was in town, coming down today, coming down this avenue right here that goes by this TV studio. This fat blob down at McDonald's got caught in the arches leaving the restaurant. Now tell me that this pig's here and thinks that he's going to stop me. Who does this idiot think he is, honey? First, I'd like to know, when did he get out of jail? That overgrown pig. Why don't he come out here, honey? Because he thinks he's everybody at all. If he thinks he's going to come in here, how stupid is Jeff Jarrett and Robert Fuller? Fat man. Let me tell you something, honey. Did I hear you out here talking about Oh, me? that was what another honey. That was a Ronnie P. Gossett honey. Got to say to me. I gotta pause this. We're not counting honey uh, from other people, so I gotta remove a honey. Um, did I remove a honey? No, hold on. So sorry. Remove honey. Three. So we're at three. All right. I got an itchy trigger finger. I hear honey, I press it. But that was a Ronnie P. Gossett sarcastic honey at Christopher Love. Back to it. Blubber, you say it to my face. You got that? Well, turn around so I can see your face, fat man. Let me tell you what I got to say to you, punk. You're nothing in this business. You've never managed anybody credible. You're a liar. You're a thief. You're a con. You're a crook. And that ain't even starting it, honey. Chris Love, I thank you for all those compliments because I'm everything you ever wanted to be in professional wrestling. You are the biggest nothing since the invention of the zero, my fine feathered <laughs> fat friend. You <laughs> let me tell you something. Don't interrupt me, ladybug. When I get through talking, I'll tell you. You have been jealous of me for years because only the top talent has associated with Ronnie Gossett. Why do you go out and you get these nothing happening, never was bums to put in your stable? You used to call me on the phone daily and ask to be on my application file. Liar. Teaching you how to Liar. be a manager. You are nothing. You are Liar. the biggest nothing since the invention of the zero, my friend. Is that the truth, honey? That's Let's the truth. talk facts. Who was running around here not one year ago in a diaper, punk? Who is running around here and ripped off half of the wrestlers he managed? Your checks are still bouncing all over the state. Now start with me, punk, and I'm going to tell the truth about you. You're nothing. You know what? Slime ain't good enough word, honey. Slime ain't good enough word. Yeah. Let me tell you something in a nice way, my friend. I want to thank you. The PYT, Dave. Attack Ronnie Gossett from behind. PYT is going to work on Ronnie P. Ah, oh, here comes help. Jumping Robert. 
Honey Love getting out of the way. Jeff Jarrett, Robert. That Ford might be it. The eight of their manager and PYTs are in the ring and we got action all over here. Boy, they're in the ring right now. All four <laughs> of them, the PYTs, Robert Fuller, Jeff Jarrett. One of the PYTs just got hit with a clothesline. There goes Gossett up under the ring apron. Ronnie getting in the ring. The PYTs being manhandled by Jarrett and Fuller right now. Gossett, wait a minute. Look at, look at Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie said, wait a minute. One time. Look out. Look out. Back onto the rope. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Christopher Love has collected the PYPs, and there they go as the celebration continues in the ring with Ronnie B. Gossett, the manager of wow. Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett. We'll be back with more. Price is Right rules, yeah, closest without going over. Uh, that is the segment. The honey count stands at six. Uh, did anyone say six, or did anyone say five? Whoever said six is the winner. And if not six, whoever said five? Uh, cool Dude Food said four. Nathan said one. I think Cool Dude Food is the winner, folks. Cool Dude Food. Uh, oh, Brian said six. Brian is the winner. Brian is the winner. Attention, Owen Straw. You did not win, Owen. You didn't. Brian said six. He is the winner. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sarge is, has gone back to, to Denny's to get another free breakfast. All right. Brian, two-time honey counter champ. Wow-wee. All right. That's that. That's the uh, honey count this week. Six. Play that in your pick one <laughs> game. <laughs> All right. What's next in this potluck of fun uh da, 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 da. back to passions right you are thor let's hope that kate coward is an organ donor so his death won't be in vain the mass scene was in big trouble and we couldn't be happier about it Performing that miracle? Here's something! Oh, I have to lose this in my life. Yeah, he's dressed as Don King. Come on. <laughs> Mad dog, or big dog, and her dog walker. Ring! <laughs> Baby Don King, little Don King. Today in Wrestling History, April 18th. It is going to be so hot. Monday night on TNT at Nitro, Goldberg may walk out of the building with a piece of gold around his waist. I'll be there, no question about it. Right now, we've got action on WCW Saturday night. Evan Courageous to take on All right, L. Dandy, L. Dandy making his way to a ring. WCW Saturday night. This is not that Tom Green territory. You catch him on Tuesday nights, WCW Deep Cuts. He'll do the full shows. 
So there's El Dandy waiting in the ring. Power well, plant. Evan Courageous is certainly able to uh, graduate. Evan Courageous. The, the Evan Courageous double win. shot. That's double right. Like it's almost like I said, what was Evan Courageous doing on this no day? That Dandy holds a huge edge Evan Courageous without the braids? I don't. I couldn't recognize him. You were talking about Nitro and Goldberg vying for As seen on Passions. Quick cover by Courageous in a two count. We still have tickets available for a couple of upcoming Nitro events. Again, Evan Courageous two. gets the two count. Indianapolis, Indiana. May 4th is the date. Then we're coming to Kansas City, Missouri on May the 11th. We'll be in Providence, Rhode Island on May the 18th. And Evansville, Indiana. Nitro coming on May the 24th. <laughs> tickets for all four of those events still available. El Dandy and three count would have been rad. Even if he was like in El the Dandy Tank Abbott Rola. role of wanting to be in the, 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 the group. David Syracuse, punch. thanks for the He's cheers. Right Belated Nick Patrick's Benedict day. Nick Patrick the in the, the ring. Evan Courageous has scouted El Dandy enough to know you can look out for all the sentines and the punches and everything else. Hank Abbott, I still got to review his third book. I haven't forgotten. One right in your chin. It doesn't matter if he's planted in the middle of the ring or he's flying out the top rope. Watch out, Evan. I think what makes that move so effective is that it's a change of pace, a diversion. You're expecting that high risk move off the top, and instead you get leveled with that big punch from Dandy. He gets the cover, and he gets two. a two count on Evan Courageous. Earlier in this segment, Mike, we saw Rowdy Roddy Piper left laying in the dressing room at night. You know, a tag team of, uh, of El Dandy and Van Hammer doing the... Uh, the, the Santana smooth. Who's the who is the guitar player? Not not the guitar player. Who's the singer in Smooth with Santana? Uh, Rob something. Someone who sucks. Rob Thomas. Thank you. Rob. <laughs> Rob Matchbox. I agree a hundred percent. Two count for El Dandy on Courageous. I don't know. Smooth was such a crime that even today we're still feeling the effects of of smooth. To this day, wrestling has been changed forever because of that song. Andrade has come out to multiple fake smooths. They keep faking smooth. Evan Courageous, top rope, cross body, El Dandy goes down two. Well, he took a page out of the Luchador's playbook there with the springboard. Oh, I think that surprised Dandy. Drop kick. Dandy rolls Dandy to the outside after the, the drop kick. Area. Ooh, Courageous. catches Evan Courageous. Courageous can fly, as we mentioned. The flying cross body block lays out Dandy, but it looks like, well, it looks like Evan Courageous is limping as he rolls back into the ring. Courageous may have injured that knee. And Dandy missing with the drop kick. Right there, Dandy may have wanted to go for the drop kick on the knee. Yeah, Saturday night Dandy rules. Has his head in the game, Dandy. Ooh, misses with the chop. Oh, oh, oh. The Dandy don't miss. Good punch. Cover. Count to 200, Nick. He's done. Wow. Nick Patrick's Dandy counting Dandy like there's uh, children in the ring. What a right hand from Dandy that leads to the three count and the pinfall win. He can't, he can't even believe it. Dandy wins. Dandy wins. Folks, it's not going to be long now. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, live from the Mile High City, the much-discussed spring stampede as WCW moves into Denver. And, of course, all of it's going to be available on pay-per-view. Make the appropriate telephone call. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, can you believe it? Teaming up with Kevin Nash. This guy is a giant, there's no doubt about that. But in the bat match, their opponents, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and a man who's got to be considered well over seven feet tall as the real giant. And, of course, that bat will be uh, suspended high above the ring. The first person to get to the bat then, in turn, will get to use it on his opponents. Oh, my. The drama unfolds tomorrow night in Denver. And you can be part of it by picking up your telephone right now. Make the call to your pay-per-view provider, either on cable or satellite dish. Make the call right now. All right. Now, I said there was going to be some mystery involved with tonight's episode. 
and I do have a mystery to be solved. Um, let me go to this. <laughs> uh, let me take that Smuckers thing. Smuckers, boy, when I tell you I was looking forward to something all week, I don't know why, but uh, I'm in love with that Smuckers Photoshop. Um, but that's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm on this screen. I'm on this screen. No, but I'll, I will promote this show. May the 4th. Legacy Pro Wrestling, a show where I am the ring announcer and the play-by-play -play commentator. Uh, May 4th at the uh, Amazura Nightclub, the uh, HOG Arena. Legacy Pro Wrestling will be live. And uh, I'll be doing the ring announcing. And uh, it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. Will, will Disney lawyers shut us down for this <laughs> obvious... Uh, 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 copyright infringement? I sure hope not. But it's, uh, yeah, they, they, they always forget to put me on the poster. Uh, but I will be there, and I will be in the ring yelling all these names, and it will be a blast. I always love these shows. These are standouts of the House of Glory Academy, all trained by the Amazing Red, the underground legend. It's gonna be excellent. So, uh, yeah, see you there, May 4th. Will I dress up in some sort of Star Wars related costume? Absolutely not. Uh, but I will try and think of some Star Wars uh, jokes. You know what I mean? To keep things moving. I will have fun and I hope you'll have fun uh, with me. And uh, what else? Okay. <clears throat> now this is the story I wanted to tell. Um, oh, also, while I'm plugging things, before I get to the mystery... Um, 420 is on Saturday, and uh, last year I did, a, I did a very fun 420 show. I mentioned it earlier. That was the debut of Wrestler or Weed Strain, the wildly popular game show that is, uh, I love it. And uh, so the 420 show, Reefer Radness, is on YouTube if you are uh, looking for some 420 type uh, business action laughs on a Saturday night. Pull it up on YouTube and uh, check it out. And I say this all the time, but if you follow me on YouTube, which you should, just pick an old episode if, if you're feeling froggy. You know what I mean? Good to put on, clean the house. Watch an old episode. They're not, I'm not holding up a newspaper in them. There's all kinds of great uh, things, laughs, and action galore. Uh, so yeah, check that out. And now for the mystery that I... <laughs> that I've been plugging. There is a Rob Van Dam main event, but there's all kinds of action on there. We got the Stoner Brothers. We got Chronic. I would check it out. So, here you go. A couple months ago, friend of the show, Casey James Salango, incredible comedian with his second album coming out soon, he brought over a bunch of stickers that he got for very cheap. And uh, he was, he said, take stickers. Do you want some stickers? Take some stickers. And so I took some stickers. Here's the first sticker I got. Bella Army, right? I might as well just go to the other screen for this so you can see it real big. This is my first draft pick. Bella Army, yes. Second pick. I got this. This little luchador man. Second one, I, uh, third one, I got this. Uh, Famoloso Uso. A, a, did they ever say this on TV? What is this? So then I went to, uh, 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 this. And I, I say, what does, uh, Famalosi mean in Samoa? Force out, forced up, exercise restraint? I don't know. I have no idea. But has this... Has this ever been said on TV? But that's not why I'm here. That's not why I am here. Um, this was my fourth pick. Dean Ambrose Arm Day. Now, this these stickers had to be made by AI or something. Because I have Googled this. And does this mean anything to anybody? Dean Ambrose, his little anarchy symbol, which is funny when people do that. Arm Day. Does Arm Day mean anything? What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? 
This is a mystery that's been in my head. I see this sticker and I and I keep meaning for five weeks or more. I've had it. <laughs> I need the leg day sticker. Thank you, Crush Bra. What does this mean? Does this ever? Does this ever said? Does this have any? Did he hurt his arm? What is this? Somebody. I I googled it. I googled it. I put it in quotations. I got nothing. So that's a mystery. These are my four stickers. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't get better than this one. The Bella Army. God bless him. Okay. So that's it. That was... That was... Uh, that was that. Okay. Well, let's move on with the action. I don't think that mystery will ever be solved. And uh, I will be back in 10 seconds. Bottom wrist lock. Lateral drop into a head scissors by wrestling two. Penrose trapped in that head scissors now. I hate Tammy Jones! I hate everybody! <laughs> All right, here's some glow. First 18 ladies over the top rope battle royal elimination ever. This is uh, Glow's first battle royal. We got 18 women in this one. Princess of Darkness. Matilda the Hun. Matilda the Hun. Olympia. Ebony. Tammy Jones. The California Doll. California Doll. Little Fiji. Little Fiji. Mountain Fiji. Mountain Fiji. Ashley. Little Feather. Sally the Well, she's a baby face, right? She's kissing people on the cheek. That's a baby face move. Maybe she's confused. Ring announcer getting tossed out. Holy shit. Bro, I would be mad if that happened to me. If four wrestlers picked me up and dumped me over the top rope like that, I would be upset. So he does ring announcing and commentary just like me. This is absolutely the ring announcer's fetish, which he's the owner or something, right? Ring announcer's fetish might be a great title too. <laughs> Ah, um, Mount Fuji's baby face. Matilda the Hun is a heel. He's also the owner. Mount. Oh, Princess of Darkness holding on. Nope, she's gone. The evil sorceress is out. Here comes Matilda. Look at the gang with Matilda, Ashley, Olympia, the doll. Sally coming in there. Tara, the Southern Belle, they're all trying to take over the 288 pounder. And there she goes. Matilda over the third rope. 
There you go. Two more matches. Farmer's daughter hits hard on the ring apron. Manitska. Two eliminations. They're fighting on the outside. They're going fast with this battle royal. God bless. Attaché. Oh shit, she hit the wall, my god! Attaché flying high. The unfriendly skies around Mount Fuji. Restricted airspace. That's a crazy way. Wow. $10,000. She stole the check. She ripped up the check. Write a new check, my friend. Whoever asked if she's in the bloodline, I would like an answer. Perhaps Mount Fuji is part of the bloodline. <laughs> she might be. What? All right, back to passions. No, 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 it couldn't be. It, Julian can't be alive. No, no, it can't be him. It, it's got to be a double. You know, they say everybody has a twin. They say everybody has a twin. Do they? Th Destroy the mass CEO, break hide, him in half. Coward he is. Who's that strange little man with him, though? The one that seems to be his manager? It, it looks like Tabitha Lennox's little nephew, Jimmy. But no. It's the doll boy. A sweet little boy like that be doing with a It looks like the doll boy Jimmy. from Passions wearing a no, Don King a wig. And then this. Julian. He, he can't even die and stay dead. Mm, big dog on his tail. That may change soon. <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca, but I think your brilliant plan is about to go up in smoke. Why? Hello? As soon as everyone learns, particularly the court, that Julian is alive, Teresa will be out of prison and back in this house, and we will be out on the street, and I don't mean Park Avenue. Well, at least you've got transportation. You're gonna have to walk. Thanks to Julian. Oh, the Lazarus of Harmony. 
we could lose everything, everything! I hate technology, AI, machines and shit. Even as a kid, fucking RoboCop, Transformers. <laughs> and now look at the world, controlled by it all. It don't sit right with me. I've collected bounties for years on men, women, hell, even tigers. But I ain't never collected a bounty on a motherfucking robot. This Sunday, Mecca Mummy, you bring your metal Egyptian ass to LA, <laughs> and I promise you, this is right up my alley. Limb from limb. And once I got all that scrap metal of you, I'ma leave your ass right where you belong, in a heap of junk. Right in the middle of Compton. Courtesy of the man with the black halo. All right. We'll be looking for that. All right. All right. Uh, a couple things I wanted to say. Uh, we're at the cool. We got two more matches. Two more. Uh, not long, but. Um, Buzzbin. Buzzbin. Um. First off, I want to say that, where is it, god damn it, uh, last week's episode on YouTube is the best an episode of the show has done since December. Uh, my YouTube is in a tremendous slump, I, I, I don't hide it, I'm telling the truth here. My YouTube is uh, in the toilet and I've been trying to get it back and uh, this episode, this last episode, did better than any episode from December, so thanks for checking it out. Thanks for leaving a comment. All that stuff. A like. These things seem like very small things to leave a comment or to press like, but it all adds up to the, the mecha mummy that controls YouTube. So I appreciate everybody helping out in that respect because it means something to me, and I, I, uh, I thank you. Um, another thing last week, a big hit was our friend Muscle Man 8562 uh wants the cheapest cameo uh, available a one dollar cameo I I uh contracted Muscle Man 8562 to uh say some words about new enemy of the show um Steamboat Willie and he did and it was great and boy I had a I had a a, a whole thing planned for this week and and it's time sensitive so i can tell you that it's not going to happen but i wanted to, uh, uh i wanted another cameo from muscle man 8562 i wanted him to congratulate the winner of the gimmick gauntlet the divorce dad but uh he changed his price again muscle man went from one dollar to ten dollars to seven dollars to back to one dollar and now he's at eight and then seven i don't know how to keep track of how it he's like a uh, great fish you order a muscle man and it just says uh, uh market price i have to see how he's doing so i i couldn't afford a muscle man cameo this week but that's okay I will, uh, you know, I'm always, always checking out Muscle Man and, uh, seeing what he does. Now, another thing that was a great big hit on, um, last week was the first time I have watched, and the first time it's been on the show, Ugandan Soft Ground Wrestling. God damn, that was awesome. So we got some more... Uh, Ugandan soft ground wrestling to watch and uh, let me just bring you up to speed 
uh, the, 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 the big heel was a guy named Lord White, who was a colonizer, an evil colonizer, who claimed that England still owned the wrestling scene of Uganda, and it looked like he was taken out, and uh, he, he, uh, he died. But, let's get to this. So there's Lord White's grave. Thank you, David Syracuse, for cheering. Turn this down. So there's Lord White, back from the dead, the colonizer, the evil colonizer, Lord White. All right. So, uh, to 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 recap, Lord White, back from the dead. He wants to know somebody pissed on his grave. These are the best wrestling stories ever. Uh, and, and it was, uh, uh, a cool man, a wrestler, a Ugandan soft ground wrestler named cool man who, uh, pissed on the grave of, of, uh, Lord White. So I think Lord White is setting up to get his revenge here and, uh, that's where we're at. So let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I forgot. I forgot to do this. In the future, everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Deeper. Longer. Into the buzz. All right, there you go. This is a buzz bin match. This is from today, actually. Colonizer, he has, he's gotten some Ugandans to uh, turn on their people and join him. He's got backup. There, he's got a couple goons there holding cool man. Reindeer, reindeer, you suck, you suck. Wow, we got uh, captions on this. Say thank you. For bothering to come to this shit heap. Shit heap. Of a wrestling ring, and for what I'm going to do Ooh. to this one, cool man. Get him, cool man. I'm with you, cool dude. Food. Cool dude food ro rooting for cool man should surprise no one. Jeez. Oh, so he calls his goons white boys. Lord White is his name. It was a masterful plan. 
executed perfectly. And now, your payment. 500 shillings. Who wants it? You suck! 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 Let me ask you. No, 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 no. No. I'm not going to ask you. Because I already know. You! You suck! 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 Shut up! You suck! 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 The fans are really letting uh, Lord White no. hear it. No! No! no. Thank you, Lord White. You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! shit! Subtitles are a little no, off. Actually, <laughs> must be more severe. Get him on the ground! <laughs> on the ground! Oh. 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 Cool man! Is he peeing on him? Ah, it's the Maximum Man Models! Former WWE Superstars! What the bloody hell are you two clowns doing here? Maximum male models? Yes. You're not even part of SGW. You don't belong here. Fuck off. <laughs> Lord White! We came for one reason and one reason only. Uh -huh. To break the shackles of colonialism once and for all! Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mansoor! Oh, oh shit! Mace! Ooh, double team! Take that, Willie Ames! Uh-oh, Lord White's goons. Here comes Cool Man now to help out the Maximum Male Models, MXM! Cool Man! Oh, double sit-out choke slam! Cool man, cool man, cool man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we achieved the dream!
can hear you. The entire world can see you. Is Lord White dead? Again? SG Dub, SG Dub. These fans love it. Right now, all around the world, in New York City, in London, in Chicago, in Tokyo, in Germany, in Berlin, in every single city, in every country in the world, they are all chanting SGW! Cool man and the maximum male models. That shirt rules! Now answer me this. Do you love professional wrestling? Yeah! Yeah! Do you love professional wrestling? Yeah! We love the sport. We love the sponge. We love the sponge. What is this? Uh, 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 what show had sponge on it? Salute your shorts. I can tell you with my entire heart. I promise you, the sport loves you too. What a baby face Mansour is. Yeah, Lord White's just laying there getting bit by ants. And now the thrilling conclusion of this wrestling uh, storyline on passion. Come from the neck down, you twit. <laughs> Don't do it, Big if you do. Oh, referee's knocked out. Where's Vinny Lax? We need referee Vinny Lax in there. High wire death spin move. When they're assigning this episode to a writer, they're like, have you watched any wrestling? No? Good. Teresa will be out of prison and we're out of luck. Damn it, Rebecca, what are we gonna do? Ivy, just don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't panic. Julian is alive. Teresa is going to be staying alive and, and come keeping the title of Mrs. Crane and then you're telling me not to panic. What do you want me to do, sing? Well, for starters, you yes. can keep your mouth shut. Don't talk to me like that. I didn't mean it that way. It's just that nobody has to know that Julian's alive. Ever. Get a clue, Rebecca. He's on TV. Yeah. Wrestling in a costume with a mask. Somebody <laughs> but you and I are going to realize that this 
That literally it was the the WWE creative interview. That's what they want. Not anymore. I think I don't know. Put it that way. Right. No one has to know that Julian is alive unless we tell him. Obviously, Chris Morrell. This is the the end of the show. We got one more match. In fact, I bet that he is waiting until after Teresa is executed to reveal himself. And Teresa's going to be executed soon. So, if no one knows that Julian's alive until after she's dead, we win. You can't, you're not gonna watch the ending? It will be on YouTube soon, Chris. No. No, no, I, I didn't either. Well, how could we? Julian is dead. And soon, Teresa will be too. In the future, everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Deeper. Longer. Into the buzz. Hmm. All right, this is our final match. Making his entrance, Kasusada Huguchi. Who we have seen on the potluck about a year ago. He was in a match in DDT. He did a insane spot where he headbutted the ring post. If you remember that, I used it as the image. Yeah, he has devastating chops. We welcome you back from intermission. Hashtag Pro Mixtape as you This will be our final match. This uh, this whole show, uh, uh, Chris Hero's Pro Res mixtape, looks incredible. There is other things I wanted to play on this show. Perhaps I'll do it in the future. Um, but uh, you never know. We gotta keep moving forward. And his opponent! The whole show is free on YouTube, I believe. I am. I got this off YouTube right now. I watched it live. Um, so it's still in my watch history. The crowd so if it was the thing where they played it live and then took it down, I am hero. still accessing it because I have it in my watch history. But I think it's still up. Chris Hero is indeed back. Back in LA once again. Back to fly his hard Chris Hero uh, loves wrestling, studies wrestling, knows wrestling, all the different styles. The Took a, a, a to couple years off, also am I right? And maybe he's had one or two matches since this. A dream match this against uh, Kazusada Haguchi. Violent it may be, a love letter nonetheless. Listen to him. But I, uh, Chris Hero is a guy that I think gets it. He's a goddamn student. He studies everything in wrestling, but he also knows that everything is wrestling. And uh, once you start uh, saying this isn't wrestling, then you're you're doing a disservice to the sport, to the art, to the culture of pro wrestling. Everything is pro wrestling. That's what I say. And that's look at this show. Look at all the different kinds of wrestling we watched even this week. From GLOW to Ugandan soft ground wrestling. Taguchi, mean man. Who are you? Who are you? No, how are you? How are you?
Mikey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Do this every week, every Thursday night. The shows go on YouTube on the weekend as soon as I can get them. Some weeks I have to do a little editing work, so it takes longer. This Last one, I'm block. hoping and praying it goes straight Chance up. It will be there heroes. Friday. That's my There's dream. The we are underway. There you go. Hero versus Higuchi. Hero wearing his uh, Los Angeles Lakers influenced jersey with his gear. Higuchi, simple, black, high waist, classic. Hero. Shaking hands, the code of the mixtape. Ooh, not a handshake, a, handshake, a little away. slap. This hero is undefeated since returning to the ring. Let's see if you can continue that trend here. With that sabbatical. Returned in glorious fashion, defeated Timothy Thatcher. Ah, that was his match against Timothy Thatcher. the head and neck of Higuchi, that notably sort of superhuman strong skull of Higuchi. Keep your, your eye on that. See the superhuman skull. Higuchi we saw it when Higuchi headbutted a ring post. Or will Higuchi be able to weather that changed my life when I saw it. Strikes. Higuchi trying to take down Big Chris Hero, he does. Single leg takedown now following up. Trying to ground Chris. And now grabbing grabbing the left arm of Hero. Higuchi back All right. now. Technical start to the match. Higuchi Hero trying to out wrestle feet. Hero. Keep him on the mat. Higuchi not taking his eyes off of Hero as they... Odd hush as these two incredible battlers get it going in. Friend of the show, game. Necro Eric, keeps pushing yeah, me to, to the, play the, uh, uh, the clusterfuck from WrestleMania Double weekend. That's there, two hours strap. long. That's the show. That would be the show. Shoulders up. And if I do a, a buzz show anytime soon, I would love to do it. It's just so hard for me to do a buzz show. And this Sunday, I can't do it because it's uh, <coughs> AEW. I'll be at Cool Dude Foods uh, watching the show and cheering on my favorites and booing my least favorites. Out of here with his legs, just squeezing. And, you know, when you have such a long sabbatical, you know, I, I think that for several matches. Look at that. Look at that. Headstand from Chris Hero. Hero trying to show off, but maybe fading. No, able to. He's not fading, dog. Show that he has uh -oh. not lost a step. The heat of competition getting to Chris Hero. He shoves down the Gucci. Keep an eye on it. We'll say this probably in most of Hero's matches. You know, as he continues. Oh, Sabrina his knocking down my lights. Just keep an eye on the conditioning because when you take that long, Sabrina's going nuts. Always something that comes. She hates into this play. stuff. She only likes Logan Paul. There's nothing like reps in that ring. Experts like Levi Shapiro will tell you. He recently came off a layoff himself. Higuchi trying to run over Hero, but just ran into the wall known as the knockout artist. Testing him. Hero Shoulder block. Higuchi says not. Nah. Result for Chris. One of the stalwarts of DDT to this very day. Ah, Suzanne with wrestling. the fact. Higuchi, a former sumo. A lot of tonnage in that ring. Ooh, he stops him with a big, thick chop. Hero. Hero Shoulder block, Higuchi's Far down. Senton. Ooh, sent on, splat. I love a good senton. Chris Hero, no exception. 
Higuchi's feeling that. He got flattened by Chris Hero. Like Vulcan Raven, Chris Hero just grabbing Higuchi by the ears. Oh, and unloading like a stinger right in the corner. Sabrina's going nuts around me. I'm so sorry. She's going to attack me soon. it was Higuchi. Higuchi ain't afraid of no chops. Trying to get that suplex. But the former KOD Openweight Champion says, no, no. Referee Vinny Lex, thank you. And Hero now at last gets him Ooh, up. Ooh, beautiful. Who does this? Does but high impact and big time damage done. Higuchi rolling out to the Once outside Once referee Vinny Lax leaves the chat, Hero everybody in the chat starts uh, cheating, throwing powder around, acting up. This crowd behind Hero, as they should be. It's his show. And just Ooh. Oh, oh my God. The fabulous forearm of Chris Hero knocks Higuchi back. And doubled over. I, don't, I, I thought Higuchi might be out in his feet, but somehow coming right back and going to try and post Hero. Hero saw it coming, trying to avert disaster. Uh oh. Perhaps looking to recreate the, the oh! headbutt to ring post spot that I never got over. Me, the man with the worst and memory on planet Earth. I remember Hero. that headbutt. I remember the sound of the headbutt. His skull hitting the post. going to introduce Higuchi to the post himself. And I talked about that superhuman strong skull before. I don't think that that had the effect that Chris Hero intended. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> he don't care! That was sick. Sabrina! Him. He's trying to knock the lights down. Just floored the knockout artist! Staggering back is Chris Hero! And like the Terminator, Huguchi stalks him! Whoa, into the chairs. Those are wedding chairs, folks! Those Slow are chairs out. for your friends and family! Baby Those are chairs for treasured guests! That was terrifying! Higuchi, who called his shot, might be nearing a victory and putting the first blemish on Chris Hero's comeback. And Chris, Chris is hurt. Chris is down, and he is hurt. And just measuring him. Waiting to put the final touches, perhaps, but Hero see life returning to the eyes of Chris Hero, but for how much and how long? Ooh, could not get out of the way. Clothesline, another one. With no regard and reckless abandon the Russian leg sweep. Side Russian leg sweep, Higuchi holds on. Make sure Chris Hero is where he wants him to be. Step up, oh, slick elbow. I love that from the second row, outside in. Two. Dos, dos, dos. Was Chris Hero. This is our final match on the program this evening. Is decimated. Chris Hero. If you right uh, missed the beginning of the show, it oh, will be on YouTube soon. I hope. Him brought him to terrifying new life, and Hero has been on the defense ever since. There you go, that's that sumo right now, getting ready to push Chris Hero out uh, of there. Hero, oh, oh, oh. Stop for the forearm, one. you don't see that in that sumo. Ooh. Dazed, dizzy, Ooh. but not going down. He's on uh, Dream Hero. Street over in uh, the, the, the Sleepy Prefecture. Oh my God, 
headbutt to the arm. That will stop the strikes of the knockout artist. Could be going for that brain claw slam. Brain claw slam. Now that's a fucking weed strain, brother. Ooh! In the jaw, the jaw of Higuchi got jacked. Not able to get the brain claw slam. Blistering chop. Disaster, but still doubled over. Back and forth. The intensity ramping up here and the aggression. Headbutt. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Forehead to forehead. This battle, the headbutt's taking him down to his knees. Hero fading. There goes your brain. Could be lights out for Chris. Gonna Hero forget how to get home. Higuchi signaling it could be time for McFoley style. God clawing away at Hero. Haven't seen a claw used to that effect since Levi Shapiro. Really innovated it in the Bay Area and still uses it to this day. Brain Hero running on the wheel if you can see it. behind me. Gonna try and break the hand, perhaps. Higuchi no, in the right corner. Scored oh, again. high kick to the ear, Kazusada Higuchi. Hero going nose to nose. The fury coursing through Chris Hero right now. As they continue to tangle in the corner. Well, now Whoa, oh, shoving the referee. Referee Vinny Lax, if he was here, I'd ask him how he feels he about that. I know he's the head matchmaker, but you can't put your hands on the official. Some frustration boiling over, and it might have cost Chris everything. Chris Hero Chris losing his cool. Ball. Cool man, he is not. Getting lit up by Higuchi, and the ref again. Kind of Whoa, referee, nobody is, is uh, cares about you, he ref. You're about to get a swirly. But Chris is just getting pummeled. Crowd and point to let them fight, but hey, this is, you see the black and He white is place. letting them fight, but the they gotta play by the rules. Oh, oh my God, Higuchi. <laughs> Higuchi has just taken out the back. referee. He had enough. You can't referee rolls to the outside. What in the world can be done now? down and out and now what does Higuchi have in my own oh, no. Higuchi you knocked the referee out dog was he trying to yeah you're the one that KO'd him yeah there you go thank you whoa Chris Hero back to life and not a moment too soon not sure I want to lock eyes referees with out so Chris again. Hero starts swearing Still unloading, emptying the clip. Chops right Hero to the logo, Chris Hero. Hero. Down again. No referee, no one to make the count. Haguchi looking for a right gut now. wrench Wait. here, perhaps a doctor bomb. The beatdown is on. Uh oh, I hear music. But. The bounty hunter, Brian Keith, is looking to enter the chat. What's going on Now, what on is here? this? These two have history. Higuchi and Brian, Brian Keith, Keith have history? I Oh, they might have wrestled in DDP, DDT. Taken. And Brian Referee Keith is out. Toe -to -toe with Higuchi now. <laughs> you said it, Dr. Liam. This is what happens when referee Vinny Lax leaves the chat. The potluck goes nuts. Descends into lawlessness. Bounty hunters entering the ring. Higuchi being bounced like a damn pinball. It's back up and back fighting. That one rocked Higuchi, and now it's... Oh! Ooh. Now it is Hero who is just absolutely waylaying Higuchi. And let me 
Higuchi, this doesn't seem fair. I mean, I know Higuchi ain't the nicest guy. Hero and Keith. Decimating Higuchi. Hero going for a pile driver. For, for now, uh -oh. now, the, oh, no. Yeah, dog. Main event, oh Mecca God. Mummy, baby. scheduled Mecca Mummy and Brian Keith. Brian Keith inserted Hot himself luck into the action legend here. Mecca, Mecca Mummy. Mecca Mummy was willing to wait on the sidelines, but what is going on? <laughs> this is some ECW booking. Is it a tag match? Oh my god! Brian Tornado Keith, the bounty hunter, the runs right into the giant fist of Chaos Mecha Mummy. Remixing this matchup into a tornado tag, and Chris Hero just. Ah! Mecha Mummy in the face, but. <laughs> yeah! Mecha Mummy! No! Oh my god! That's the Mecha true Mummy knockout artist! The knockout artist. The original knockout artist, the Mecha Mummy, is joined up with Kazusada Higuchi in this tornado tag. Now a tornado tag. The bounty hunter, Brian Keith, teaming up with the matchmaker, Chris Hero. Chris Hero getting uh, pummeled by Higuchi and the Mecha Mummy. Mecha Mummy again, bringing that giant fist down on Chris Hero. Bring that fist down. Brian Keith charging in. Oh, no fist. He left his fist and his drill behind. Stopping Mecha Mummy for the moment. But again, none of this offense seems <laughs> to have any effect. Mecha, Mecha Mummy fucking like rules. Twice. Look at the strength of Brian. Oh, oh. Just too much tonnage. And Mecha Mummy, how's he going to kick out? Brian Keith can't kick out. Somehow Brian Keith kicking out. Mecha Mummy excited, tagging in Higuchi. <laughs> Higuchi <laughs> doing the... <laughs> trying to channel, I think, the same strength and fortitude and become Mecha Higuchi. <laughs> A fearsome duo to be This sure is insane. Like a monster movie in there right now. I called Higuchi the Terminator earlier. I had no idea just how right I would be. And oh. Mecha Mummy just slamming all that tonnage. And he's <laughs> electrocuting Brian Keith. Yes. Electrocuting him. Surge to Brian Keith in the corner. And <laughs> this is the best. Mecha Higuchi and Mecha Mummy are destroying Hero and Keith. Hooks both legs. Two! Down. Somehow, Bounty Hunter Brian Keith. We have a Bounty new Hunter referee in there. Than he bargained for when he came out to make the save for Chris Hero. The, me the Mecha Mummy music is still playing New Jack Brian style. The big back fist the is fist. back. Clobbers Brian Keith. Keith. That fist in the center of the ring. What? No, fist to the dick! The fist. Right in the asshole! Ay, ay, ay! Mecha, fist mecha in mummy in the mecha first. fist! He got fisted! By God! <laughs> he got dropped to hold it on his own fist. His foot is shaking. He still has life. He still has power. Right in the bounty. Thank you, Dr. Liam. This is a wild episode. We have been all over the planet. 
Higuchi getting double teamed now into the ropes. He breaks through. Lariat sends Chris Hero down. Mecha Mummy cheering on Higuchi. This is insanity. Brian Keith begging, Calling begging off. The bounty hunter, yes, He's do doing a timeout. Uh, Brian Keith, Keith, the bounty hunter, with the, the man with oh. the black halo. Trying to plead with Mecha Mummy, a machine. Okay, doing a duel. Uh, well, somewhere, somebody knows the 10 dual commandments. What is this? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Right in the Mecha Marbles. Ooh! The cold Dr. Liam right in the bounty. Right in the referee. Right in the stripes. I don't think Brian Keith knew it. Trying to. Uh oh, the drill. Yeah, Brian, <laughs> this is insane. Mecha Mummy. The drill, it's spinning. The drill bit. No. Oh, no, right in the asshole. The, the referee. The the referee. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, our main How event. <laughs> are we going to go through here? <laughs> Passions, Keith, passions could never touch this. And trying to do the total recall. I think he lost a little oh. power. Well, Mecha Mommy says, screw you. Beaten with the drill bit. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Chaos reigning at the mixtape. This is insane. And turning around, hitting rewind is Mecha uh. Mommy. <laughs> He's shredding his insides. Drilling away now, Brian Keith finally. Brian Keith caught the drill stop momentarily, it. stopping the Mecha Mummies uh, attack. Chris Hero, he's got that big fist. I am at a rare loss for words. Oh my and God! Baseball slide the stops the Brian mummy. Keith's Higuchi's getting it. The mummy has his fist back. That's and not again, good that's news for hero. Chris Hero. Higuchi unloading on Keith. Now this is wrestling. Never let him tell you this ain't wrestling. And the Mechas aligned again. They're powering up. Supercharged here in Los Angeles. Uh-oh. Oh, he just oh, mowed him. Beating up the mind. They, they, they no sell the Three Stooges routine. They said we like the Marx well, Brothers. Went to the power center of Higuchi and he is down. The power center of Higuchi. I, I think Brian Keith just told Chris Hero to throw the mummy off the balcony. <laughs> oh my God, this is insanity. I, I think that's what I heard. <laughs> I can't endorse that kind of activity, mummy or not. And Mecha Mummy, oh! And Hero just tearing off that fist. Of Hero Mecha with mummy. the big fist, that could change everything. Hero ascending the staircase, Hero looks like. With the big fist, Mecha Mummy following, arms up, doing the, 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 the mummy taunt. Chris Hero going all the way up to our production area here in the balcony of the Don Quixote. Look out. I mean, there's a lot of ways to get hurt up there. Oh my God, no, no, Mecha no, no, Mummy. Oh no. Clear the deck down below. 
<laughs> this is insane! The Mecha Mummy's gonna die! The and you're trying to destroy him! No! Now Higuchi's there! Don't do this! And it's two on one up there! Brian Keith's still in the ring! Higuchi and Mecha Mummy have Chris Hero at their mercy! And yeah, please don't die. Oh, oh the fist! My God. Launching the fist like a wow. missile! Wow! Perfect! Right in the face of Brian Keith! Exploding! The right fist in Brian flew! Keith's face. <laughs> Brian Keith hit. knocked the out by the flying what fist of Mecha Mummy. Oh this is my. insane! Mecha Mummy back in the ring, Mecha finishing this off. Bad that? cover from Mecha Mummy allowed uh, Bounty Hunter Brian Keith to find his way out. A better cover could have finished this one off. Higuchi leading Chris Hero back. Forcefully escorted back to the ring by Higuchi. This insane Mecha Mummy looking to put his tag. fist. That fist is broken, brother. The Mecha Mummy fist. Not sure that's adamantium or not, but it sure has been effective. Once again, the Mecha Mummy music's now, been playing this whole time, I mean, New Jack say, style. Can, can you do a Mecha Mummy brain claw slam, perhaps? I, I'm not sure. Oh, it took his eye off the ball. <laughs> Another, he's and doing straight up three stooges. Now regains control of the fist. And now the knockout artist using Mecha Mummy's own weapon against him. <laughs> and against Higuchi, but they refuse to go down. Right in the mecha nuts. Thinking, in stereo, maybe thinking. Power bombs. What do we got going? Double power bomb, double pile drivers. Whoa. Stereo, pile drivers. Stereo. Mecha mummy and mecha Higuchi. And. Higuchi, so oh. with power and right back to their feet. What's it gonna take? And the double brain claw slam now. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. it. Hit him. Brain over. claw slams. And just putting the foot on Brian Keith and a double kick out. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This match, Peter this impromptu tornado tag is still yeah, happening. Say, Somehow, Chris Hero and the bounty hunter Brian Keith sits up. He sits rope. up. Tommy's on the second rope and Keith just launching himself. The hard head of Keith, but to no <laughs> avail. This is like the longest hey, Mecha the Mummy road. match I've seen. Drill from the second rope, spin! Oh! Into the chest. That's gotta be it. This is insane. How? How? Brian Keith still defiant. Still fighting on. Another headbutt. And you can't again. headbutt the Mecha Mummy, dog. Ooh. Mecha Mummy says no. Standing toe to toe. Man of science, man of faith. West Coast Pro, black and blue. What is Chris it Hero take? <laughs> on the stage drinking a water. Mecha Mummy. Ooh, Mecha Lariat. They have had no answer, but wait. He just stone cold a couple waters. Chris Hero. Chris Hero says water for the boys. Now that's a promoter. That's a promoter giving the boys water. Higuchi says I'm one of the boys. Where's my water? Chris Hero stopping Higuchi with the drill. It's now down to Mecha Mummy. Oh, he's scrambling the circuit to the Mecha Mummy. Double under hook. Power 
for Surge. That's it. The Tiger Driver put three on the board. Your winner of this tag team tornado contest in your potluck main event. Insane. Well, in the immortal words of Jack Buck, right here in Los Angeles, the late great Jack Buck, I don't believe what I just saw. <laughs> and I don't either. So this was our, that was our show. That's our potluck. The, a crazy one. A crazy one. It had drama. It had mystery. It had the honey counter. It had everything. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This has been a great one. If you missed any of it, go to YouTube. It will be up soon. If you're watching this on YouTube, why don't you join us on a Thursday night live on Twitch. Uh, do this 9 p.m. Eastern every Thursday. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Pick an episode out. Watch it at your leisure. And watch the 420 episode from last year. It's a tremendous episode. The birth of the wrestler or weed strain game. Uh, yeah, so check that out. This has been a fantastic one. Lots of fun. I was sick all week and I had to rally and get better for this. And I did. Thank you everybody for tuning in and, uh, yeah, see you next week. I hope everybody has a good weekend and enjoys AEW Dynasty. I have a lot of great uh, uh, possible titles. I will go over them and pick the best one. Good night, everybody. Uh, I almost said get home safe. <laughs> get home safe. If you're already home safe, then uh, dream safe. And have a safe weekend, and uh, 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 thank you for being so beautiful.